Je Junie B. Jones and the Silly Smelly Bus. Chapter 7. Peaky Holes and Spying. After a while, I started to get a little bit thirsty. That's what happens when chalk sprinkles get in your throat. I would like a drink of water, I think, I said. Then I put my hands on my hips. Yeah, only what if somebody sees you at the water fountain? Then they might call the silly smelly bus to come get you, and so you better not go. I stamped my foot. Yeah, only I have to go, because there's a silly chalk in my throat. And all of a sudden, I got a great idea. I pulled a chair over to the door, and I peeked out the window at the top. I'm a good peeker. One time I peeked right into Grandpa Miller's mouth when he was sleeping, and I saw that dangly thing that hangs down in the back. I didn't touch it, though, because I didn't have a little stick or anything, that's why. Anyway, I didn't see anybody in the hall, and so I opened the door a crack, and I sniffed, because when you sniff, you can smell if there's people around. I learned sniffing from my dog, Tickle. Dogs can smell everything. People can mostly just smell big smells, like stink and flowers and dinner. Nope, don't smell anyone, I said. Then I ran to the water fountain. I drank for a long time, and nobody tapped me and said, hurry up, girl. After that, I stood on my tippy toes, and I tippy toed to the media center, because I love that place, remember? The media center is kind of like a fort. The shelves are like walls, and the books are sort of like bricks, and you can move some of them around and make peaky holes. Peaky holes are what you, you spy out of. Then if you see somebody coming, you can make your breath very quiet, and they won't find you. I spied for a long time, but nobody came. The only people in the media center were just me and some fish. The fish were in a big glass tank. I waved at them in there. Then I stirred them with a pencil. I love fish very much. I eat them for dinner with coleslaw. Just then, I saw my most favorite thing in the whole world. Its name is an electric pencil sharpener, and it was sitting right on the librarian's desk. Hey, I said, very excited. I think I know how to work that thing. Then I looked in the desk drawer, and guess what? There were lots of brand new pencils in there, and so I sharpened them. It was funner than anything, because an electric pencil sharpener makes a nice noise, and you can make pencils as teeny as you want. You just keep pushing them into the little hole, and they just keep on getting teenier and teenier. It doesn't work on crayons, though. I tried a red one. Then the pencil sharpener slowed way down, and then it made a rrrr sound. And after that, it didn't go anymore. Just then, I heard a noise. It was walking feet, and it made me scared inside, because I didn't want anyone to find me. That's why. And so I squatted way down and looked through my peaky hole. Then I saw a man with a trash can. He was singing Somewhere Over the Rainbow. That's a song I know. It's from my favorite movie, which is called The Wizard of Odds. The man with the can didn't see me. He walked down the hall. Then I heard him go outside. I stayed squatted down for a long time, but he never came back. Phew. That was a close one, I said. And so, so then I ran to find a better place to hide. And that's the end of chapter seven.